What is going on everybody and welcome to part 15 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we're going to be adding some fancy looking buttons to our menu that we created a couple parts ago. So since I don't want to clutter up this receive function here or any more than it already is, I'm going to create a new function here and this will be called function. And again, just like any Lua function, it starts with function, followed by the name of the function. So I'm just going to call this add buttons. And this will take in one argument, which is the parent element, which is going to be the menu in this case. And the menu is just going to be this up here. And like any function, we need to end it off with the end statement. Now in here, I want to create a new D button. And I do this by creating a variable, local, player, button. This will just be the area where the all the player information will be, such as stats and all that fun stuff. Set this equal to vgui.create, an in double quotes, d button. Next up, we want to set the parent element. So player button colon, set the parent. And the parent will just be the menu, which is going to be passed in right there. Next up, the player button colon set the text we're just going to set this to an empty string like so and that's just to get rid of the default value that's stored there if we do not call this which is i believe just label because we're going to be using the paint function like we did up here to draw the text instead next up we want to set the size so player button colon set size and then here we want the x value or the width and height i mean it's going to be 100 by 50. then we need to set the position player button colon set pause and we're going to set the position to the x value of 0 which is all the way to the left hand side and y value of 25 and the reason it's 25 and not 0 as well is because for some reason with uh, making buttons in this if you set it at 0 half of the button is going to be cut off so in order to fix that we do half of the height so half of the height in this case which is 50 would be 25 Next up, we do the paint function here, player button dot paint, and set this equal to function. And again, like any function, we need to end it off. And to explain the set parent thing, all it's doing is it's going to set player button, and it's going to make it a child of menu, and it's going to be contained within menu. So that's the set parent, that's what it does. So I'm going to put some comments here. We want to have the color of entire button. And then another comment down here, which will just draw bottom and right borders. So let's start with the color of the entire button. We're going to be using surface again. Surface dot set the draw color. And we want to do a dark gray of 50, 50, 50, and then 255. And now everything that we do underneath here, such as drawing a rectangle, will be this color. So we want to do surface dot draw rect, and we want this to be drawn over the button that we created up here. And we're going to put this at zero, zero, which is the top left corner. Then the player button colon get wide, which will return the width, and player button colon get tall, which will return the height that was set up here. Next up, we want to draw the borders. So against we want a new color, a darker gray, we want to call the set color function again. So surface dot set draw color. And up here we used 40, 40, 40, 255 for the draw color. So we're going to be using that for the borders down here as well. 40, 40, 40, and then full on alpha of 255. And then again, this is two borders, so we need to draw two more rectangles. Surface dot draw rect. This will be at the x value 0 and y value 49. And the y value is just the height of it minus 1. And that just allows it to actually be drawn on screen. If we were to do 50, you would not be able to see it because it would not be drawn on the button. After that, we need the width of it. So I want to go to go from the left-hand side of the screen all the way to the right. So we want to do player button colon get wide and that will do exactly that from the left hand side to the right hand side and then the last one which is the height of it and since it's just a border it's going to be one pixel tall then again for the top down right border surface dot draw rect this one needs to be at the x value 99 so all the way to the right hand side 
And again, that's just the width of it minus one. And then the Y value is going to be at zero. So it starts at the top of the button. We want to do one because we want it to have a width of one. But since we want it to go from the top of this button all the way down to the bottom, we need to do the player button colon get tall. And again, that'll do exactly that. So if we save this, go into game here, press F4, and actually, I forgot to do one thing here. In order to make a function work, we actually have to call it somewhere. So we want to call this function below this if statement here, so outside of this end. And this is just called add buttons, and it takes in the menu, which, again, was created right up here. So now if we save that, go into game, press F4, you can see that our shop button is now there. But there's one thing missing, which is just the text of the button, so people know what exactly the button's going to lead them to. So let's go ahead and do that now. Write text, or draw text. And we do this with the draw dot draw text function. This takes in the first parameter being the text we want to write or draw. And it's going to be player, followed by a comma, the font type. We're just going to go with the one we've always been using, derma default bold. So we want the x value, stat button, or sorry, player button, colon, get wide, and then divide that by 2. That'll make it exactly in the center, horizontally centered, that is. And the y value, and this is going to be 17. The reason it's 17 is because doing half of the y position does not work out so well. So 17 is just a rough estimate of the center, and to me it looks pretty darn good. It may not be exact, but it's close enough. Next up, the color of the text. Color, and in parentheses, I'm just going to do a full-on white, 255, 255, 255, and then full-on alpha of 255. And then at the end, we want a 1. Now if we go to the game, and we press F4, the player text has now been drawn. And because I forgot to close this, we need to reload. And we're also going to check for some errors here because it looked like there was something in the console. Might have been from before, not sure. Okay, we're back in game. Press F4, and as you can see, everything's drawn there. No console error, so we're good to go there. And now, in order to add the second button that I want to add, we basically just copy this, enter down a little bit, and paste it, and just change the name. And this is going to be the shop button. So now with this, everything below this, that has player button, change it to shop button. And also, since this is not going to be the player button, we want to put the text to shop because it is the shop button. Now we just got to change the position to the x value of 0 all the way on the left, and the y value needs to be 75. Go back into game, press F4, and as you can see, we got the player and shop button now being drawn on our menu, and that'll basically conclude this part. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.